Hey everybody, it's Sean and Carrie from Owning Toronto. Hey, today we are talking about preemptive offers, otherwise known as bully offers. Bully. <laughs> Number one, offer dates. Yep. What can you tell us about offer dates, Carrie? Offer dates are set between the listing agent and the seller. That's right. And why do we set an offer date? Good question. Um, generally, we do it to give the market ample time to view the property. Number two. Oh, I'll ask you a question. Okay. Are preemptive offers legal? Yes. Stop. Next question. <laughs> no. Come on, elaborate. They, <laughs> they are legal, and some off, but but some sellers won't accept them. They'll say it right in the listing that we're not going to accept preemptive offers. And that's because they're hoping to get a lot of people exposed to the property. They want to make sure that everybody sees it, uh, has a chance to, to consider putting an offer in on it. And then they try and get as many offers as they can on offer day because that's the name of the game. Right. Good job. Good answer. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Number three. How much should you offer? Oh, uh... That all depends. That's a good opportunity to take a deep dive into researching the area. Mm -hmm. um, your realtor will take a look at what other homes have sold most recently and as best as they can compare to the actual house that you're looking at. And from there, you would generally offer similar to what the last sale had been. Mm -hmm. But you also have to consider how many offers there are. So if you're the only other person, maybe you might actually get it for asking, but if you're amongst uh, two to three other offers, then you might want to consider putting your best number down. Question number four, I got this one. Okay. And this is a good question for you. Mm -hmm. What do you do after you've received a bully offer? I get on the phone and I start calling my mom and my brothers. Wrong. And I say, no? No. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course, we get on like, oh boy, we got a bully offer. Um, no, we get on the phone and we start calling all of the people who have expressed an interest in the property, all of the realtors who have shown the property, and we tell them that we have an offer and that we're going to be reviewing offers and when we will be reviewing those offers. Uh, we tell them how many offers there are, and we have conversations with all of them about what, how, what their level of interest is to try and figure out how many offers we can expect. I've got an add-on to the fourth question okay. for you. Okay. All right. So when you get a bully offer, mm -hmm. are you allowed to disclose the price? No. We cannot tell them anything other than the fact that we have another offer. Period. Good answer. Yes. Question number five. This one's for Carrie. If you submit a bully offer, does that mean you're going to win? There are no guarantees in life, what? so it's true. So no, you're not guaranteed to win, but what you can do is try to take control of the process. Right. Uh, by submitting a bully offer, it may decrease the number of comp uh, competitors that you might have, mm -hmm. um, and you just never know what a preemptive offer will bring to the right family who just does not want to show their property Tired. to all kinds of strangers. And in COVID, mm -hmm. it is kind of offsetting for some people or off-putting. So, no guarantee, but it might put you or give you an edge against other people in this crazy market. It does suck showing your house, having to keep everything pristine at all times. So that's definitely definitely an advantage to the buyer in that process if you can if you can convince the seller to wrap this up right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's you know what we should do. Let's wrap this up. Wrap it up. Okay. You that you. head in you <laughs> it can allow you to take control of them what did i do i don't know i just screwed up what did i get hit <laughs> i saw so her mean i'm a bully <laughs> remember to follow us on facebook and instagram or go to our webpage at owningtoronto.com and sign up for our daily email alerts